Hey guys, it is Minty here, and today I'm going to be drawing a new character. This is also a real-time sketch with me within my sketchbook, so I apologize for some of the bad lighting. I had my LEDs on as well as my side lamp, so it looks a little weird and funky. But this is a new character of mine. Um, I'm actually finished with my sketchbook, so you guys will see that sketchbook tour very soon, which I'm very excited about. Um, but you'll get to see more of my concept sketches for this character. Um, I do, I love this character a lot. I don't know what to name her, and I haven't drawn her much since this one, but I do really like her. She's really cute, um, and I love kind of the storyline that I'm gonna go with her. Um, I guess I can, I can tell you guys a little bit about her from what I've already kind of gathered. Um, I'm not quite sure on a name yet, so if you guys have any names for her, please leave those down in the comments. I was thinking of Sage, but I'm not sure, um... So yeah, feel free to leave some name suggestions in the comments, and I might pick one of those. Um, but yeah, so she is going to be royalty, like a little princess, you know, a little, little princess. <laughs> um, but I also wanted to make her an adventurer one, like a, not a soldier, but just someone that goes out and advent like on adventures, saves people, and just kind of lives her life as a princess and an adventurer. So, um... This is her adventuring outfit. This is what she wears when she goes out. So her dress is going to, I think how I want her dress to be is all the way down to her ankles. And then when she goes out, she kind of tucks it up in her corset so that you can't really, so she can move easier. Um, and then she always has that little dagger on her thigh. Um, I feel like I should like push it up a little bit more, but and like figure out a better way to make it look like it's not just on her leg and stabbing her. But she has a little dagger, um, just just in case, just in case she doesn't have time to grab her big sword, um, which you guys will not see in this. Um, I mean, I could maybe put the my finished illustration that I have on Procreate of her um, at the end of this. I, you know, I probably will. But you guys can see her like her full design on um, a digital format later on. But she has this ginormous emerald sword. Spoiler alert, her color scheme is mostly green. <laughs> um, I feel like I don't have any green characters. I stay more towards, like, the cool, like, blues and purples. I obviously have a few characters with mint, with mint green hair. And when I say a few, I mean, like, a lot. Um, <laughs> but I usually stay towards, like, cooler colors. I mean, I do have a few with warmer, but I, I, for some reason, gravitate towards purples and blues. Which is kind of funny, because I'm not actually a huge fan of like the color purple but i use it a lot in my character designs um i mean if you look at any of my characters you would know that <laughs> um but yeah so i know that i said i was gonna post more and then i didn't and then i was like i'm gonna do it again and then i didn't yeah there there's really no promises here i've been trying to get some videos out for you but um I don't know, I haven't felt like filming much, and I haven't been filming on my iPad, which I should be doing more of. Um, I do have a Drawing Your Guys' OCs coming very soon. I have a sketchbook tour coming first, but the Drawing Your Guys' characters should come um, before that sketchbook tour, or maybe after. I'm not sure what I'm going to do um, posting-wise, so just keep a lookout for both of those. Um, because I did finish my 27th sketchbook, which is a lot of sketchbooks, um, and I've already started my 28th. So, yes, the 27th one took me so long to finish. Normally, it takes me about a month or two to finish a sketchbook, but this one took me from July of 2020 to July, or to February of this year. I almost said July again, but yes, I finally finished it. It's not my proudest work, but you know, sometimes I, I just had to do it, you know? And I think a lot of it was because I moved to digital art more and more, so there's not much traditional stuff, which is why I wanted to film this video that you're watching right now, because I've been trying to get back into some traditional art, <laughs> but watching this, I, I was editing this and I just realized how much I hate working with like markers and stuff. Maybe I should get back into watercolor, because I used to do a lot of watercolor stuff, but I kind of fell out of that too, but... I love markers, don't get me wrong, but 
sometimes they can be a little bit frustrating you will see later on that one of my markers is literally so dry that it's like crusty and gross um you'll see that when i get onto her corset later on i think i do her hair um and then uh, her clothes and then i'll get onto her corset but you can see that later on it's really disgusting and like i have a lot of markers but i feel like i just don't have enough to complete and accomplish what i want for color schemes of my characters because a lot of them I've been trying to um, make more like diverse characters, like skin tone wise, I guess. Like uh, most of my characters are very pale. Um, granted, they are all part of like the same family, like it's a whole generation and stuff. So I mean, I couldn't really control it that much. I mean, I could, but I don't know. I was not very good with skin tone, so I'm trying to branch out now. Um, this character, as you can see, has a little bit of a tanner skin tone. Um, I have some with tan, and then I have characters like this, and Mari, my little dragon character, which if you don't know, um, you can find her up on my Instagram, which is underscore minty underscore 21, same as here. Um, I have a lot of pictures of her because I love her, but she has like a darker skin tone, but not too dark. I think my darkest skin toned character that I currently have is probably Cookie. Once again, you can probably find a video of her on my YouTube channel or up on my Instagram or TikTok. I probably have thousands of pictures of her because I do love her, although I haven't drawn her in a while. Um, and I think a lot of that comes with, I have so many characters that it sometimes is really hard for me to draw because I want to draw, but I don't know which character to choose. Um, I don't know which one to spend all my time on so it gets a little bit frustrating because i don't know what to do <laughs> but I'm, I'm working towards it i'm working on it but i'm also trying to focus in school because i now do distant learning so i've been trying to <laughs> stay on top of that as well as my college classes and work i've been working a lot more especially because it's around holiday season um but yeah i've also just been a been getting into old hobbies such as like reading I've been getting back into anime which is really good for me I think and I've been reading a lot more like manga as well as just stories I used to love to read and I've been wanting to get back into writing because I used to write a lot so maybe I'll do that as well but I would love to as well you know further my drawing skill and just draw a lot more because it's something that I absolutely love more than anything in the world so <laughs> yep there is my marker being <laughs> dead I don't know if I have a refill for that one, I probably do, but I might just have to buy a new tip for it, like just a whole new tip, because it's really crusty, like it's gross, um, so I might just have to do that, but yeah, I, I would love to draw more for you guys, which is why I usually take some of your comments into consideration, so if you guys have any video ideas or just drawing ideas in general, please make sure to leave those in the comments. I also do have my drawing series where I draw your guys' characters. That does help me a lot because it gets me out of art block. Because if I don't know how to draw, I can just pop up on my Instagram on the hashtag, hashtag draw, your, draw my OC underscore minty, and I can just pick a few characters to draw. And it's really fun for me because I get to experience new art styles and figuring out how to turn someone else's art style into my own, as well as looking at new characters and figuring out how they would fit into my art style, which I think is so fun to me. I know a lot of people don't like drawing other people's characters, but it's just something that I have always loved. Um, I would also love to start a small business um, with some like art prints and stickers. Um, because I do have a Cricut, I would love to make stickers, uh, or even just do more commissions. So yeah, if anyone's like interested in anything, like especially commissions, you are more than welcome to DM me on Instagram. That's probably where I'll answer you the quickest, um, because it's just what I always check on every day. <laughs> so yeah, um, and you're probably wondering like, what's the difference between your hashtag and a uh, full commission? So with my drawing series for your guys' characters, I don't put that much like effort. I put, I put effort into it, don't get me wrong, but at the same time, it's not my full effort. It's not what my drawings w like look like if it's my own character. So a commission is obviously something that I put more time and effort into. Anyways, we are getting towards the end of this. I'm just adding some background details because I felt like it was very plain. Um in the background and I always add a background to my digital art so well at least I try at least even if it's just color so yeah I wanted to just add some like green bubbles around her 
But yeah, that is my new character. Um, once again, just let me down in the comment. Let me know down in the comments if you guys have any video ideas for me, and I would be more than happy to create those for you. As well as if you guys have a name for her. Like I said, I was thinking of Sage, but I'm not sure if that quite fits her. Um, if you want to know a little bit about her, she's just. I think I'm gonna put her in her like late teens. She's just an adventure girl that goes out. Maybe I'll make some friends for her to go adventure with. Um, but she's just a very classy lady <laughs> that also likes to go out and experience the world. I haven't exactly world, I haven't built her world yet or obviously other characters around her or her story completely. I'm still working on that, but I think usually I like having a name before I do that. So just let me know. Anyways, um, I'm just going to highlight this for a little bit and yeah, I hope you guys all have a good day, night or whatever time it is where you're at and I'll see you guys all next time. Bye!